In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can hide some of your hard cuts using light leaks. And best of all, at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can make some of your own. So let's jump into it. Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys, and in today's Premiere Pro tutorial, we're gonna look at a really nice way to get a seamless transition within some of your videos. When you go out filming, you can't always get that kind of epic transition using a whip pan or anything like that. So we're gonna show you a way of using a light leak to get a really nice epic transition, something that's really seamless and will just blend two shots really, really nicely. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you how it works. So here we are in Premiere Pro, and this is the edit that we played in the intro. So we've got these hard cuts right here. The cut itself is actually quite nice, but if you want to add a nice effect and some cool aesthetics, you can add a light leak in between the cut so it blends into a nice seamless transition. It also gives you a nice vintage film look aesthetic with the added grain and dust laid over the top. To find a light leak, you either have to have a subscription to a service like ArtGrid, and by the way, we absolutely love ArtGrid. This is where you can download thousands of free light leaks. It will work perfectly for your Premiere Pro tutorials. But if you don't have a subscription to any royalty-free websites, light leaks are actually also quite easy to find online for free, and there are tons of people giving them away on places like YouTube. So you should find some ones that will work perfectly for your use case. The one I'm using was found on YouTube a while ago. And whilst I can't remember the person who I got this off, a big thank you to whoever gave this away for free. And uh, we'll try and find the link and pop it in the description below. Remember, I'll also show you at the end of the video how you can create your own light leaks for free. So when you find one, what you need to do is find the brightest part of the light leak and place this between the two cuts that you want to use it for. Now, you have to do a few more tweaks to make it more seamless, as you don't want it to be super abrupt. So what I'm gonna do is add a nice little cross dissolve at the start and at the end. Then I'm going to change the blend mode to screen. Now, you can see it changes from just a hard cut to now a more stylized transition. And then what you could do is simply copy and paste this or to make each transition unique, try to find another part in the overlay that you have and just use it like so. Now, a good tip is to not overdo this as it really could ruin the edit and it becomes really way too repetitive if you use it too much. Just use it subtly here and there and take into consideration the shots that you're transitioning in between. A good way to use this is use it somewhere that a light leak would naturally occur. Maybe if you're in a forest, maybe if you're near a window or on the beach, that tends to usually work best. Now I'm gonna show you how you can create your own light leaks and this one will actually really work as a nice cool effect within your video. So first duplicate your clip and drag it above. Hold option for the shortcut, then search for the effect directional blur. Now increase the blur length to the maximum, which is about 1000. But it really depends on how strong you want your light leak to look. Now, let's try turning it 90 degrees. But again, play around with this and adjust to your personal preference. Next, I'm going to change the blend mode to screen. And you could actually experiment a little bit and try some other blend modes. But I think screen seems to do the best job. Now, we're gonna search for another effect called tint. Once you've found this, drag this on top of your duplicated layer. Then change the map to white to orange to give it that light leak look. Red can also work really well. Next, I'm gonna drag it so it starts just halfway through 
and then add a cross dissolve. You can of course experiment with the opacity or change the blend mode again. Next, if you extend the clip a little bit over to the next clip and then add a cross dissolve, it can also work as a slight transition and give that film burn effect. You can experiment even more by playing around with the curves on the duplicated layer if you like, and you could also change the directional blur. You can even duplicate again and add two blurs and change the color and direction so you have two. There's really a lot you can do with this effect, so get really creative. Now, I'll do this again for this clip here as the window is on the right. So it can kind of look like the light is beaming through the window, creating a light leak. So I'll repeat all the same steps and there you go. So there we go, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to know how you're getting on using light leaks in your next video. Now remember, we've got other Premiere Pro tutorials you can see by clicking up here or in the description below. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.